Hockey Night in Boston as the Bruins face the Flyers and where James Van Riemsdyk will be honored for reaching 1,000 games in the NHL. That's a look. I love it. While the guys certainly like their new t-shirts, JVR also has a personal gift for all of his teammates to show his appreciation. Look at this sheet. It's gonna make me look young. Thanks, JVR. Appreciate it, brother. Congratulations again. Thanks, Lev. You are a legend. He is a legend. True. Well, this is a special night for JVR, boys. Uh, obviously, an amazing career you're having so far, and uh, we are lucky to have you in our team. Uh, it's been a blast getting to know you and your family. You guys are unbelievable people, and, and you know, uh, how I said, we are lucky to have you as a teammate. It's been fun watching you. Uh, I don't want to keep it too long so you don't lose your time at the warm ups. But, uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we got you a couple of kids, and congrats again. And Wow, fellas, this is uh, this is unbelievable. Super nice. Um, I know earlier in the year, the, we've always talked about being grateful to be a part of this group and uh, getting a chance to be here with you guys uh, for this season over the course of uh, these last few months has has been amazing, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this uh, stretch run here for all of us. So definitely uh, not taking any of that for granted, and uh, excited uh, excited for us to get down the stretch here. So yeah. yeah. Hi, is that chicken nugget? Where's his bow tie? Hello. This is so fun. Thank you. Are you waving your chicken nugget? Hi. All right. I gotta go. James Van Riemsdyk was selected second overall in the 2007 NHL Draft and is now in his 15th season. So tonight, he will rightfully be recognized for hitting the 1,000-game milestone. What do you think? Is this fine? Can you wave at everybody? Can you wave? Yeah, there we go. All right. Look at this. Congrats, Thank you. Appreciate it, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Wow. Look at that, buddy. Oh wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, that's unreal. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Love you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Right. Love you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you. Prior to arriving in Boston, James played the majority of his career in Philadelphia. So in a classy gesture, the Flyers also honored JVR for his contributions to their team. You guys are the best. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Love, Love you, guys. buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Never-ending gifts from you guys. Holy Congratulations, Dave, on this incredible achievement of reaching 1,000 career NHL games. Say, let's go. Let's go, Dave. Uh, all right. Good job, buddy. All righty. That was perfect. I was following it up to the net there. I thought maybe it maybe had it. Yeah. Hey. 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 Here we go, boys. Keep pushing here. The Bruins blow open a close game with three quick goals to start the third period, only to see the Flyers rally to make it close late in the game. Gotta close it out, close it out. Come on, killer instinct. Danton Heinen's snipe finishes this one as the Bruins close out a wild third period to take the win over Philly. Much. It's
It's a St. Patrick's Day Sunday, but still a work day for your Boston Bruins. It also happens to be newly acquired defenseman Andrew Peake's 26th birthday. So of course there needs to be some cake and ice cream. Breakfast. Peek, yeah, happy birthday, bud. Thank you. Let's get a good cake. Regular season game 70 has arrived at TD Garden, where the Bruins face the Senators. But before they take the ice, longtime fan Ken Casey of the legendary Dropkick Murphys is here to announce tonight's starters. Big uh, honor to do this. I appreciate you guys. Lifelong fan. I got the kids with me. I got my muscle calling. So I'm going to read the starting lineup, but I got to get his approval. All right? So that's how we do it. All right, up front, Mashi, you know it. You good? Right. <laughs> Senna, CC. Yeah. 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 JD. Yeah. Yeah. All right, he's good, good. In the back, Lindy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Brando. Uh, <laughs> and in the net, Ollie. Ah. He says again so. <laughs> big dog. Here we go. Little dog. Here we go. Big dog. As the Bruins hit the ice for this one, six foot five inch, 245 pound winger Justin Brazo will be playing the 13th game of his young NHL career. Here we go, baby. All night, eh? All night. Ship and ship. Because, dude, like, in my head the whole time, I was like, you have to go to Geeks. I honestly went fivefold to try to give you a yeah, rebound. No, dude, it, it just it came out perfect. I just bounced over yeah. the sticks. Stay, stay, stay. Let's go! 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 Let's Yeah. That's the only reason why I knew where it was. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. <laughs> How fun is this? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit nicer treated here. It's a tight game through the first two periods when David Pasternak's third goal of the night gives Boston some breathing room. But number 55, now seeing time on the power play, is hungry for more. Hey, let's just be tight. Be, be tight to the net. Let's just grab fucking damn it. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Justin's second power play goal of the evening finishes off the Senators as the Bruins skate away with the solid 6 2 victory. Start. Hey, oh, thank you, man. appreciate it. Great game, fellas. Way to push them out of it. Pasta, all the night, shabby, but this one's fairly easy. Bro! Obviously not our best for the first two, but uh, we had to find a way to close out the third. After scoring a hat trick, it's customary for the player to pick one hat off the ice as a memento. And safe to say that with his selection tonight, Pasta will always have a fond memory of career hat trick number 17. Game night once again at TD Garden. But prior to puck drop, the Bruins are honored to host one of the best-selling female musical artists of all time, Celine Dion, who will announce the team's starting lineup. I'm more nervous tonight than when I do my own thing. And they said, really, Mom? I said, of course, of course. So it's a, it's a thrill, it's an honor, but I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Okay. We'll walk, we walk in there, 
and I'll introduce you and then the room is yours. Take as much time as you want. Don't take eight minutes because we go on at eight minutes. Take your time, it goes faster. <laughs> chip in, chip out, let's go home, let's go. <laughs> it's an honor and a pleasure to introduce Celine Dion who's going to do starting lineup. She has her two sons with her. Can I? Thank you, thank you so much. So here we go. Uh, thank you so much for getting ready for me tonight. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Up front. I know. I know. I know you're gonna play. Here we go. Pav. You make me hungry. Pasta. On defense. You better bite. Grizzy. Oh. Ooh. My name starts with a C. And we're going to go for C Mac. Yeah. And last but not least, Ingo. You better bite, you better, you better mean it. Bulldog. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, we're not here to have it just fun. We're here to mean business. You were born to do what you are doing. So do what you got to do. Take your time. It goes faster to get dressed. <laughs> and show me what you got. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good one. The Bruins and Florida Panthers have been dueling for the top spot in the Atlantic Division for weeks. Now, after losing two in a row, the men from Boston are on the road to face the Cats in what is shaping up to be one of the biggest games of the regular season. Yesterday's practice is exactly how we play today. Hard to compete. Everything in behind them. Go to work. That's our game. Play behind teams and play above them. Do that one. Beat anyone. Lots of energy and emotion on the bench, too, eh, boys? Carries on the ice. Make sure we control the bench. Carry it over. Help our momentum swings. We control everything tonight here. Hey, our game, our bench, our energy, our emotion. We control it all. Playing a big role in this one will be new D-man Andrew Peake, who grew up a Panthers fan in nearby Parkland. Now, however, he's all in for the black and gold. Wear that hit any day. <laughs> Nothing. I got it, I got it, I got it! Good battles there, eh? Yeah, good work. Own that net, own that net. Yeah! My bad, I was so wide. I know. I thought you were gonna just take middle for a sec. Yeah. Get on him, boys, get on him, boys, come on. I got three maps. Yeah! Right! Let's go, baby! Look at the crowd. All right, see you back! There is a playoff atmosphere through this game, but in the second period, the physical play ramps way up as both teams raise their intensity to try and seize the momentum. Play, by the way. That a way? I can't get my hand. I know. Mine is I felt like my hand was just sliding and then oh. it was Good Late in the third period, the Panthers move ahead. Now, with time running out, the Bruins need to respond or risk losing their third straight game. Come on, boys. We're f***ing due. Due for one. In an 
intense battle of Eastern Conference heavyweights, the Florida Panthers have taken a one-goal lead over the Bruins deep in the third period. The assist on Pavel Zaka's goal gives David Pasternak 100 points on the season for the second year in a row. Then the Bruins hold on through the tense final moments to complete a huge come from behind win. Good job, baby. Good, bro. Way to battle there, Lindy. Great game, boys. Hey, this is what it takes. We stick with it the whole game. We face a couple of adver adversity the, throughout the game, but we stick with it. We stick to the process. Uh, we got some big goals at the end. Hey, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Less than 24 hours after defeating the Panthers, the Bruins are on the ice against a red-hot Tampa Bay Lightning team. And they cannot keep the momentum going in a tight contest that ends as a 3-1 defeat. Springtime in our nation's capital where the cherry blossoms are in bloom and the flags are flying. It's also where the Bruins continue their road trip with game 75 of the season versus the Washington Capitals. A couple of things we want to establish right away. We want to be physical right from the start, right? Get, go through arms, get on the right side of your checks, create turnovers, and let's transition the other way. When you have the puck, value it and make plays, right? You don't have a play, put it to an area where we're going to go recover, okay? Starters, Zacheline, Charlie, Lindy, yeah. and Bulldog. Yay! Use the net, use the net. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Tie it, tie it, tie it, tie it, tie it! Get boxed out. Get boxed out. Hey, that one that I shot, did I have you? D to D? I had like such a lane. Okay. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Johnny Beecher's breakaway goal puts Boston ahead, but the Caps soon tie things back up, and it stays that way through regulation. In overtime, though, things look grim when the Bruins face a four-minute shorthanded situation. Daniel, good job, eh? Pav, good job, that's it. Good job, Peaks. Good job, buddy. Bruins' epic penalty kill leads to an equally dramatic shootout, where, tied in the fifth round, Jim Montgomery sends out an unlikely shooter, defenseman Kevin Shattenkirk. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> right, Shatty! What a f***ing shot. Come on, Sway, one time, baby. Yeah! 
Yeah. Ought to come up big, brother. I love you, baby. Good job. Nice job. Uh, so many guys obviously can go to Killers, hello f***ing up, that was not for like four minutes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, who is that guy? Uh, I mean, I have to go with Sway, he had some big say. Yeah! yeah. 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 Uh, that's, a, that's an awesome win. Um, the way to stay with it, how it's unbelievable. Let's go to Nashville now, boys. Let's go to Nashville. Oh, oh,